Good morning, Brian Thomas here from Watertight Marketing, checking in for you on day three of 10 days, talking about my 10 years in business, the lessons learned, and celebrating and marking that milestone with um, gifts that you can use to power your own entrepreneurial success. So today on day three, what I want to talk about is what sets people apart? I had um, an interesting comment on LinkedIn yesterday when I reposted the recording of yesterday's live video with someone who shared a stat, and I haven't looked into the detail of this, but it fascinated me, of 100 businesses that set up in a given year, only four will still be running a decade later. So that's not to say that um, some of them might not have been bought or acquired, but it's interesting, isn't it, that only four are still standing a decade later. So what is it that sets the four odd percent apart in terms of long-term success? For me, long-term success is based on long-term and lifelong learning. And that goes to today's gift. So today we are giving away um, 100 vouchers for you to use against our short courses. So we have a range of short courses and they get put together on a monthly basis um, based on the vote in our members club for the, the, the issue at hand, what they really want me to, to help them with and put a tutorial together on. So this is built up into a bank of courses with lots of things that you can learn and do. Um, and today, just today, you can get any of those courses for £10. So do go and have a look because I genuinely believe that what sets the 4% apart is investing in your own skills. So as a business owner, what are the skills you really need to invest in? You're not going to be surprised to hear me say marketing, but I genuinely do believe that marketing is a skill that the leaders in a business need to master. And I believe that an MD, director, or anybody driving growth, so someone in sales, someone in marketing, in, a, in an ambitious business, really needs to have a grasp of the foundations of all the key disciplines. So the foundations of sales, the foundations of marketing, the foundations of finance, managing people. So all the core disciplines around a typical boardroom table are disciplines that you need to invest in your skill on. And of course, as a marketing training business, it's the marketing skill base that we can help you with. What have I done over the years? Well, I would say that I read a business book, read or listen, I listen a lot on Audible. I probably read one or two business books every month. They're often books that I return to again and again. So rather than going from one book to another book to another book, I will tend to find a book that I really, really enjoy. I'll tend to listen to it once or twice in Audible. And if I really like it, I will then go and buy it in paperback, read it again and mark my notes on it and then do something about it. And I will often then revisit um, a book that has actually change something in my business, I'll probably revisit it a couple of times over the following few years. So I'm not one for kind of chopping and changing all the time, jumping from one and to another and doing something new. I'm far more focused on um, learning skills and really mastering those skills over the long term. And that's something that I would definitely pass on to you. What we do in our tutorials is obviously to build on the Warstack marketing methodology. So if you were to read the book, and then uh, dip into our tutorials, that would be deepening your understanding of the methodology. You've already um, come to, to know a little over the course of reading the book. Other things that I've done in terms of investing in my own learning. I go to conferences, I go to courses, and when I'm there, I make sure that I can really enjoy the most of it. So I don't skimp on things like staying at the hotel or getting the upgrade that means that there are extras thrown into my package. And I've been, I've probably haven't added it up, but at least two or three conferences a year. I do benefit, of course, from speaking at conferences. So sometimes I'll stick around for the whole piece as part of a speaking gig. But I really have done this um, for most of my career and also before I was a speaker. I will put money aside to invest in those sorts of things.
So I'm putting together our own conference, which is the first one we're doing this year, which I'm really excited about. We've really focused on making that not just a, a brilliant couple of days, but in accountability and learning and practical things that you can put into place after those work, uh, after that conference. So from every conference I've ever been to, I've noted down what helped me learn, what helped me put it into practice. And we've uh, brought all that into what we're doing for our conference, which is in Bristol on the 14th and 15th of September this year. And the conferences I go to are generally of those people that I've read some books on, done some taster courses and that sort of thing, um, and then I will go along and get more deeply involved. So again, not chopping and changing between the things I'm learning, but getting deep into a few key areas I think are going to, to get me the most benefit. Like fitness, you know, you don't change from, from Zumba to Pilates to whatever every week, you stick with it and that's how you get the benefit. And I truly believe that you should pick a few key areas that are kind of around the boardroom table um, and go deep with a methodology and an approach in that area. So read those books, but read them multiple times. Go and have a look at taster courses, some of the free content that those authors provide you. And don't just um, learn it once, repeat and repeat and repeat, you know, like learning those times tables or fitness that really, um, that really gets in. And then um, try and find ways of going along and meeting those people in person because the learning is so much better around a table with other people who've learned stuff um, and seeing how other people have put that stuff into practice. So for me, investing in um, your own knowledge is absolutely essential and I believe sets apart successful entrepreneurs from those who flit around or never quite get over the, the plateau of growth um, that I see lots of businesses get to. And does, does an MD need to constantly do that? Yes, we're never, we are never the finished article. So I believe this in so many ways. Um, not only do we have to refresh and remind ourselves of things that we know, but we might not be doing, because knowing and doing are two different, very different things. We also need to um, continue to learn because things move on. People bring out new approaches that really do help you to come to new realizations or somebody comes from a new angle on old ground. And so it's really important to continually um, invest in your own learning. So I put, put aside some time and put aside some budget for doing that. So to celebrate today, to help you with your own learning, we're giving away £127 vouchers to use against our catalogue of um, online tutorials. They're 90-minute tutorials that you can get on demand. And today you can grab those for just £10. And there are 100 of those vouchers available. I'm loving doing these and I'm loving and um, thinking about what I've learned over the last 10 years. Yesterday I talked about catching and communicating your ideas and I do wonder as I'm doing these learnings today whether I would add to yesterday by saying catching those lessons, putting them down, cataloguing your journey so that you can reflect on the progress you've made which then takes me back to what I said on day one about then recognizing and celebrating your successes. So I hope you'll join us in celebrating our successes by helping yourself to the gifts that we're giving away today and over the next 10 working days. We're on day three. There are seven days of giveaways to go. Some of them worth up to cumulatively up to £5,000. Next Friday, I will be giving away one gift worth two and a half thousand pounds. So check in with us each day until next Friday the 17th. I'll bring you more of my learnings more of my love and more of our gifts. Hope to see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.